Hi everyone, Bill Bannon from Fan Tech Solutions, and welcome to this month's vlog series. We're going to discuss mile IQ. You know what? If you're like me, I want everything to be as easy as possible, including mileage tracking. I hate that sometimes I forget to track my mileage. I'll tell you what, mile IQ does it for you. All you need to do at the end of the day is classify where those miles go. Check this out, it's really cool and simple. Okay, how many of you users actually were, in this scenario, using a pen and paper, if not a mileage log book, to document your mileage uh, and turn it in at the end of the year? Well, I know quite a few that still do this. And for those of you who are using applications, uh, more recent applications, but are still finding it cumbersome to use, I completely understand. I'm here to tell you that Mile IQ is not that application. Literally, Mile IQ remembers your drive so you don't have to. I, I, I could vouch for that. Really, it's a simple tool used to track all your mileage and submit a report at the end of the month or end of the year. The classification in itself are easy to do. With the automatic detection that Mile IQ provides, the second you're in a vehicle, it'll go ahead and detect the miles as you start compiling them. After that day, after the driving, you could go ahead and use their easy classifications to determine whether it's for business or personal. With other subcategories such as meeting or in between meetings, meals entertainment, commute, and so on and so forth. So here's our site, mileiq.com. As you can tell, it's really simple, it's easy, it explains what's going on right there in front of you. However, we scroll down here, you'll see that Mile IQ is not free. Well, at least 40 drives each month, a month is free. But after that, you'd have to decide whether you want to use the monthly plan or the annual plan. Annual plan will give you a discount, a savings of $12 per year. And after this, Vlog, I hope that you will understand why it is such a value. But by all means, please, start with a limited plan. Try it out. See for yourself. See if it actually works for your habits and how you use technology in day to day. And how you track mileage. But if you're looking for an application that you don't have to worry about to you know set up on your smartphone and turn it on and off or track the odometer or enter any type of number, this is the application that actually eliminates all of that and keeps it simple for you. Okay, we'll start by going to our dashboard. So once you sign up for an account, start off with a free, a free one, uh, and then you'll have access to your dashboard. Once you get there, it's simple. It's to the point. No extra pages or uh, tabs, uh, anything that you have to go to. Simple and to the point, once again. You have your stat summary of the total miles uh, that you've driven for that month, how many of them were classified as business miles. And the cool thing is you can really look at the backlog as well from the last month, last year, year to date, even custom range if you need to really specify where you've been. You could pull up an annual report or a monthly report. You could also add multiple vehicles that you may have, whether they're company vehicles, or just keep it as one. Then you'll notice that you have your time, your where, the miles that you've uh, uh, acquired, and the purpose. So each time I've entered the mileage, 1.6 miles, that's the value of that, and also the purpose of that drive time. This was for business. It was a customer visit. Or say, for example, this particular one was more for personal, but it was during work hours. It was commute. You can actually set up your personal time as well. Your personal setup customization could basically include the hours that you're not working, the weekend, so on and so forth. So when you are driving around during those times, it knows that it's automatically going to deduct or at least put those mileage in the personal category. Once again, the application's running constantly on your phone. Now, don't worry. It doesn't take up battery 
percentage. Not at all. It may take maybe a one or two, but not mo no more than any other application that's on there. Full battery charge from the start of the day with Mile IQ on, driving all over the place. I would say racking up about 150 to 200 miles that day. With standard use on the phone, I still ended the day with 30% battery charge, which is actually pretty good. Now let's take a look at um, using your smart device, whether it may be a iOS or an Android. Now the cool thing is, once you uh, sign up with your uh, account, once you sign up with an ID, all you have to do is go to your um, either Apple Store or Play Store and download the app. Once you've downloaded the app, you sign into the account that you just created and then your dashboard would appear. Now the cool thing is, it's just as clean cut as your dashboard online. As you'll see, this is pretty much what you'll see when you first sign in. Well, actually, when you first sign in, you'll see your drives, your settings, your notifications, basically. View all months, personalization, account, help, refer a friend, and it'll let you know that your drive detection is on. But from there, let's just take a look on what we're dealing with. So you'll see that basically on the very top center, it's the month that you're in. The far right is it allows you to pull reports. It's so far telling you how many drives, how many miles driven, and how much were logged so far. You also notice that right here you have uh, a difference between personal and business. This basically tells you if you swipe left, you go to personal. If you swipe right, you go to uh, classified as business. So if I take this table right here, this is basically, I know for sure this was a business meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe it to the right for business. Now I could add a purpose. The purpose of that meeting actually was a customer visit. So we'll tap on that. And now I've classified a drive. As you can see, the value just went up. All you have to do is go through each table, all the miles that have been logged, swipe either left or right, and add the purpose. You could take do a full day's drive in probably less than 15 minutes. It's really cut, clean, simple. On each table, you'll notice that you can see the map. Tap on the map if you really need to specify where you were, if you can't remember. So you can zoom in, zoom out. Oh yeah, I know where that place was. I definitely remember that was a meeting. So we'll close that out. Swipe to the right for business. Add the purpose if we need to. That was basically a customer visit for me. I got my next table. Same thing. Okay. That's how quick and simple it is. If I wanted to, this particular visit, I want to add a note. You'll see that I could add notes right here. Just tap on that, and you can add any special instructions or uh, any comments that you want to add to that visit or that mileage. There we go. So we've added that. If you notice that you have a mileage that was added based on you being a, in a friend's vehicle or a colleague's vehicle and you weren't driving, so you really don't need to claim those, but it's basically going to add that to your account, you could go ahead and delete it right there. So once again, simple, easy to use, easy to track, easy enough to submit your reports. Top right, send reports to, and then you can... Specify, specify the March, February, last month, whatever. And voila, monthly report is sent. So that's Mile IQ in a nutshell. Really easy to use. I think you'll like it because uh, it's basic and simple. It doesn't really take a rocket scientist to get used to a setup like this. Because um, once you have an account, you're pretty much, you download the app. And once you've done that and signed in, you're ready to go. Uh, the drive detection's on, and unless you disable that, it's not going to pick up any mileage. So have that on, and it's not using that much battery. 
uh, power so you won't have to stress about you know saving your battery or anything like that uh, once again uh, it, it could vary depending on phones but if you're in, if you're in the more up-to-date current phones you should be all set um, I do probably would recommend looking at that if you if your phone is out of date um, and making sure that you probably invest in a in newer phone that has more battery power um, you can look at it that way but other than that uh, hopefully this will give you a, a bird's eye view of what my IQ is about and once again take the time to use the limited version to try it out to see if it works well with you and your purposes and your needs because uh, each person is different based off their habits but if you're just one who's looking for a way to keep track of their mileage like a subcontractor or a startup business or anything like that this is the app to work with so hopefully we'll hear from you please ask any questions thank you for your time well hopefully you got some value out of that video please be sure to share and also post any comments if you've tried out mile iq looking forward to hearing from you be sure to continue to subscribe and follow our videos thank you for your time bill down with Danatech solutions mm -hmm.